Good welcome everybody, and welcome back to episode 3 of Bloodborne. Now if you remember from last time, we were... He's already dead. We were trying to get our echoes back because we kept dying, and... I don't think we'll actually fight the lycanthropes in this episode, because they just kept battering us last time, so... I think we'll just move on to the Cleric Beast who, to be honest, I'm not sure we'll do much better. That was a slick dodge. Oh my god, that was not a slick dodge. I'm stuck. Oh my... This is a terrible start. It's all part of the process. You live and learn. Now I know that... Well, I already did know that crows are just the most annoying enemy because they just jump at you peck you and trap you in between a carriage and a troll where you can't move so just gotta go get back there get our 4200 echoes back again shouldn't take too long also I noticed last time that I just came over and killed this guy and I didn't really explain that this guy has like a shotgun or something basically he's got a massive gun he is a threat, he's not just some random old man that I just killed for no reason anyway hopefully does the troll have them? please tell me one of the crows has them okay that crow has it has them okay so we've got them back safely So you just stay away from him while he's trying to ram a brick into your face. So if you do a charge heavy strike on their back, it lets you parry, uh, yeah, it puts them into a parry position where you can do a visceral attack. Now what I'm actually going to do is put on some Molotovs because uh, fire and serrated are both good against beasts. And obviously the cleric beast is a beast. 4,700 uh, and 86 echoes. Hopefully we don't die and lose them, or if we do die, we can just get back and reclaim them. Let's go. There he is. The cleric beast. He's huge. Now, I don't want to get too greedy here. <laughs> it wasn't anywhere near me. <clears throat> Will you stop screaming, please? Okay, that's a bit shocking. Oh, he's jumping around, slamming. Oh, why? <laughs> Shut up, man! Stop screaming! <laughs> Just throw another, co another Molotov cocktail. Get it down, you. Yeah. And then. So, I'm not entirely sure on the law behind this guy, but uh, basically, the more involved with the church they are, the bigger the beasts they become. And uh, is he healing himself? Oh dear! I just jumped right into that. Okay, so he doesn't hit too hard. I'm sure the lycanthropes hit harder than this guy. So what I'm doing there, like when loads of blood splats out, I'm not intending to do it. But you can see his arms bleeding and when he well when he does that. So when when his arms bleeding, that basically means that I've broken his arm. And when he does the huge thing with like the red mist coming out, that means he's fixed it. 
So when his arm's broken, I do more damage when I hit that part, or when I hit his arm. There's actually a boss later on where breaking their arms is like almost entirely how you do damage, and there we go. Cleric Beast taken down, first try, and you can see in the top right we do have our first insight, and we've now got three more for actually beating him. We also got the Sword, Hunter, Sword Hunter's badge, uh, which means we can go buy some weapons. The badges allow you to buy weapons. So, back at Hunter's Dream, 4,700 uh, 4, has gone to 8,700. So now I've just totally glossed over the fact that we can now talk to the doll. She's now awake and alive. Uh, I just totally skipped all of her dialogue. You can read in the subtitles what she said. Uh, sorry about that, I just wasn't thinking. So we can now use our blood echoes to level up. So what do we want? Strength's still both quite high. How many times can we level up? Six? Okay, so I think to start with with our first six levels, I'm just going to put them into five into vitality and one into strength, just for the extra health. We can tank more damage, and uh, we can also do slightly more damage. It goes from 98 to 99, but that should be a decent starting off point. I'm not going to mess with Blood Tinge and Arcane just yet, because we don't need them for a while. So we need another 160 echoes. Pretty sure this gives us. Okay. Beckoning bell means we can summon other people into our world, and the silencing block means we can stop asking for them to join. And then the old hunter bell allows us to go to the DLC area. This is Gaiman. We are in his dream right now. Yeah, so he is the first hunter, and this is his dream where when hunters die, they come here, restock, and go out. Um, this is the workshop, so we can use the bloodstones that we found. Uh, we don't have enough, but we could use the bloodstones that we found to upgrade our saw cleaver, and uh, your weapons do degrade slightly, not much. Um, the, tonitrus, the tonitrus degrades a lot, which is my preferred weapon. These are the messengers in the bath, uh, which is where you can just buy items. Um, so you can buy blood vials, bullets, molotovs, antidotes if you get poisoned. Oh, and then because we got the sword hunter badge, we can now buy the Kirk hammer if you wanted to, uh, the repeating pistol, and we can buy some Yarnum claws, um, which I'm not going to buy just yet because there is an outfit that we can get in another area. So we can now go to the Great Bridge, which is where we fought the Cleric Beast. Okay, so we're back in Central Yarnum. All these have respawned because we left the area. Oh my god! <laughs> And you can notice as well that our life bar is a lot bigger now. Do not underestimate crows because they may only take two hits, but like. Oh Jesus. Oh my god, stop. I keep getting stuck on everything. Yeah, crows can stun lock you, which means that when they attack you get you flinch a bit and then you can't move and then they just keep attacking you while you're flinched. It's 
So I could use my Molotovs on these Lycanthropes as well. I keep forgetting about this guy. I could, I could use my Molotovs on these, but I don't think they're worth it. I'm gonna wait for the other one to come around and use it on that. Try and get him over on his own. Hopefully. Will it work? Is he coming? Oh, he's angry. Yeah, he's coming. Oh my god. There we go, it's the first one. And the other one's coming immediately afterwards. <laughs> and parried, there we go. I can light work of it. Oh, it's too easy. <laughs> it's too easy. You get three blood vials for each of them, which is really nice. And this is where I was before. When I looked around the corner, I was like, I don't want to fight them. But if we... Is there anything down here? I can't remember. No, I don't think so. But if we come down here, we can find an entrance to the sewers. Which has not only plenty of enemies to fight, and there's everyone burning the effigy. Um, this is sewers. Uh, there's plenty of enemies to fight, but also a new outfit and better armor for us. Now how do I get down here? There. But obviously, there are big ol' beastie, beastie men down here as well. Now these guys can hit pretty hard uh, for early level. And they attack very quickly as well. So those are the two. Oh, there's another one. I thought there was only two, but... <laughs> I did see a ladder to go down somewhere. Oh, over there. And there were rats. As we saw. Giant rats, obviously. Wouldn't be bloodborne if they weren't disgusting and gross. If you throw an oil urn at something before you throw a molotov, it'll do more damage. Oh my god. Um, and there's also an item called a pungent blood, a pungent blood cocktail. Oh my god. <laughs> I was trying to dodge there, but it stunned me so I couldn't move. This is ridiculous. So this is the new outfit. The Hunter Garb. I wanted to get them before. Yeah. Uh, before he fell off the edge. So if we put these on, it's just a a massive upgrade to our armour and fashion wise as well you can see our purple ponytail and if we can jump down these uh, 
and we can get this item and oh wait they're alive ah. no the first time I played this these absolutely terrified me so you can see as well I've extended my weapon because I don't really want to get close to these not for any particular reason other than just they're gross Your attacks are slower when it's extended, but obviously you can reach further. And if you hold it down, you do a sweep attack, which is obviously very useful if there's multiple enemies like here. The Bolt Hunter's Mark that I just picked up lets you respawn without losing all your echoes, so it just takes you back to a lamp, basically. And this isn't the way forward, but this is a way to go. Um, There'll be crows jumping off the rafters behind me. Will there? There are crows up there. But, it's getting close to the end of the episode now, so... I think I'll go collect that item over there, take out some of these, and then... We'll end the episode there. Oh, that was close. He's climbing back up the ladder, so I'll wait till I'll, I'll kill him and then we'll end the episode. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching the third episode of Bloodborne. We've made a lot of progress in this episode. We fought the cleric beast, we got a new outfit. Uh, and we've leveled up six times with another 4,000 echoes to spare. So we've gone full circle, really. But, uh, yeah, please let me know what you thought about the episode in the comments. Let me know what other games I should play. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.